I ask you straight up, you dedicate this book to your sister, Leslie. Mm -hmm. uh, do you blame yourself in any way for your sister's death? There, there's definitely a part of me um, that did blame myself. Uh, I think that that's because of the responsibility that I sort of took on as um, the oldest member in my family. Um, probably should not have been uh, taken on. And, and so you're the I, oldest of five. I'm the oldest of five, yeah. And you were pretty hands-on as that oldest. You, you were involved in their lives a lot. Yes. Uh, so you do have kind of a, not a parent role, but you felt responsibility. I did, I mean, uh, in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, and, and it, was, it was tough. It definitely was tough because, you know, you, you have to balance it out, and, I, and then you have to, like, find a way to move on as well as, you know, take care of your family at the same time. So it's, it's a turmoil. Why did you not go to your sister's funeral? The, the reason I did not go was because um, I actually got the phone call from my father um, that, she, uh, that she had uh, passed, and, um, and immediately the, it, the, the conversation turned into not about her death and not about the actual uh, um, the passing and what had occurred and more about themselves. And then I started to get blamed by the rest of the family. And I, I have a large family, they all went there and they were blaming me for the death. Well, you talk about that in here and, and they, the message from them was if you had been there for her, she would be alive today. How did it feel to hear them say that to you? Did you believe it at the time? And how did it feel? I felt it was unfair. It was unfair, especially with all the things that I have done um, and still to this day continue to do um, for them. I mean, I love, love my family like everyone loves their family. Um, but then there comes a point when you really have to ask yourself, you know, are you helping them or hurting them? Mm -hmm. You say your relationship with your siblings is is toxic is that true as of today um it's it, it has been toxic it it's um the communication is something that i'm still to, the, to this day trying to work on by going to therapy learning how to communicate um try to evolve uh and it's it's tough when when you come from a background like that and and a home that is really up and down and roller coaster